Good morning. It is a Friday morning for a JNA Thrift Hall. I'm your one host, Vegas J. Yeah, I'm feeling A. Hi, everybody. What's happening, everybody? I know it's an early morning haul, and uh, I just, you know, sometimes you got to work them into your schedule. I'll shut my blinds and I have this crazy line of sun right across my face. Oh, I guess that doesn't change anything. <laughs> well, I guess I'll try that. What am I hearing? <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I'm going to have this line run across my face today. Can't do nothing about Mr. Sun, so. All righty. <clears throat> All right, so I've got, a, I've got three tubs full of stuff today. And uh, Nay's got a couple things to share, but I hit uh, I hit say, uh, sale day at Saber. So Monday, uh, all, all Monday holidays have a 50, 50, boy, I wish I could take it to take two on live. <laughs> All holiday Mondays at Savers at 15, oh, Jesus, 50 percent off. You're still on mute, by the way. You want to laugh at me, and everyone can hear it. <laughs> I was asking if you needed some help there. 50 percent off on clothing, bed, bath, and accessories. And accessories means purses, jewelry, socks, scarves, stuff like that. And yeah, and, and and I channeled my inner girl and bought a scarf too. So, oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I broke this down to three tubs: uh, men's, women's, and uh, other. Other is the tchotchkes that I bought. I didn't buy a lot of tchotchkes because they weren't on sale, so I was very picky and choosy. But I did get a few goodies. So let's uh, let's get right into it. You know, we always say keep an eye out for yourself and. Uh, St. John's Bay is not a particularly exciting brand, no. but they do make Hawaiian shirts. This one did not come with the sleeves cut off already, but I've made it a Jason Hawaiian shirt. Oh, my. My wife and I are going to Hawaii this winter, and so now I have a new, very nice and long in the body, Hawaiian shirt. That's great. Uh, you know, especially when you're a big boy, and if you, if you shop at Savers, they have everything sectioned out into 2X sections. So there's a 2X t-shirt section, and it's 2X and above, 3X, 4X. 2X button-down shirt section, 2X long sleeve shirt, 2X sweaters. So it's very easy to shop. Most stores don't do that for us big fellas. So if you're a normal size fella, you're, you're good to go. If you're a big dude, you gotta do a little hunting, so. Uh, all right, so um, shirt section. T-shirts have not been selling a ton lately, and so I'm getting very picky. But one thing that always sells well is uh, Ford stuff and Carol Shelby. Carol Shelby is a uh, car upgrader, I guess. You, you, you basically, you buy a uh, Ford Mustang and send it over to Shelby's warehouses, and then they trick, it, they trick the hell out of it, and they give it back to you way more awesome than when you bought it. So, uh, and Carol Shelby's been around. Uh, I think he's actually gone, but his company's been around for a long, long time. And uh, so this is one of the shirts that kind of go with that, the Cobra 428. Oh, yeah, I remember the, the Cobras, the, uh, my first car, yeah. my first car was a Mustang, not a Mustang Cobra, but a Mustang. Oops. Ah. Where's my other one? I had two. Oh, and then there, here, here is another one. So that was on the Ford brand, the, uh, the tag is Ford brand. And not all car stuff sells, but I never sit on Carol Shelby stuff long at all. And then, so here is on the official Shelby brand. Oh, nice. And there's a Shelby Cobra. Awesome. So they're not expensive certain shirts to begin with. I'm not making 50 bucks a shirt, but they're an easy $25 flip. Uh, I bought something in kid size by accident. I didn't realize it was kid size until I was logging it in. And, uh, but I thought it was a pretty badass shirt. It's, it's got these awesome little sleeves on it. So this would this, this would fit a small woman too, because it's extra large juniors. 
Oh, but, you know, juniors or kids? Juniors. Is there a difference? Yes. Juniors uh, is women's. It's like... Oh, it is? is? Never mind. I bought a yeah. women's seat Juniors is in the women's category, but it's a junior junior women's size. It's not children's. So put it in the it'll go in women's clothing, and then when you do the the item specifics, you will choose juniors extra large, and you should put juniors in the title. Uh, I was about to tell somebody's asking the thing when else is frozen. Uh, it's like juniors is like for younger, like twenty something women. Like that's what. Okay. Yeah. I always seem to screw that up. Now, Sizes I don't, run smaller, but it is it is women's, yes. I always caution you not to buy hip hop stuff except for a few things. Wu Tang always sells, Tupac always sells, Biggie sells, and the rest doesn't. So I, I have stopped buying hip hop stuff altogether. This one I thought I think the artist will sell it more so than what the shirt is. I guess there was a festival festival called Sugar Water, and the three headliners were Erica Badu, Queen Latifah, and Jill Scott. Oh, I know all. Awesome. So the artist's name is on that art, and I, I'm very familiar with it. And so I think that'll sell. I didn't see any of these on eBay, and but for two bucks, I thought I'd give it a whirl. So this is kind of my awesome shirt. If that was my size, I'd wear it. Yeah, this is my kind of. I'll gamble on it. Extra large. Okay, this isn't a big seller. I looked it up, but. Uh, it was one of the main characters from last year's Star Wars that everyone just clamored for, Captain Phasma. So I found a pretty cool Captain Phasma shirt. Never heard of Captain Phasma. Well, did you see the last Star Wars? Uh, actually, I did with my kids, yeah. Captain Phasma was the one who led the raid in the village. Okay, I miss, must have missed that. And so Captain Phasma stuff was very sought after last Christmas. It's fully okay. flooded now, but with another Star Wars coming out in two months, two months from uh, next week. I figured now is a good time as any to get it. Yes. Now I learned I learned something, May. I did not did know fans did stuff with Disney. I didn't know that either. So you just taught me something too. So unfortunately, this is only a small. But if you look up the Vans Disney's T-shirts, they sell for a good amount of money. Wow. Bucks. That's surprising. And it's not that exciting of a shirt, but I guess it's the whole two, you know, double branded. Vans. Yeah, double branded always does well. All right, so uh, this is a great uh, older Tory Richard. Uh, now with everything, you know, some things are a little saturated, but I felt that Hawaiian shirts being one of them. I felt that the fact that there's cocktails on here with the names mm. would do quite well. Very tiki, very awesome. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. It was three bucks, so I felt I couldn't go wrong. Uh, I didn't. I, look, I glanced through the jean, but by the time we got to uh, store two, three, and four, jeans were well picked over. But I did find one pair of silver tabs just laying around for four bucks, just waiting for me, and their baggies. Nice. Forty, thirty-four. I just sold a pair of silver tab baggy green green ones for thirty-five yesterday. That's very nice. Now, Tenor said my shirt is more reggae than rap. Okay, A is not reggae at all. B, I didn't say rap. I said hip-hop. Totally different. Queen Latifah is a rapper. Jill Scott is a singer. And Erica Badu is kind of like soul sister. Kinda. Yeah. It's just... no, there, ain't, there ain't no reggae there. That's for sure. All right, last two things in the men's uh, tub. Uh, Decente is a great ski suit brand and uh the prettier the colors the better unfortunately this one's all black but even the all blacks do okay this was 4.99 and it'll probably sell in the neighborhood of 50 to 75 dollars wow now if it and these are mainly from the uh late 80s early 90s if it was truly an 80s early 90s bright colored you know uh red blues they go for a hundred and up mm -hmm. But there are those people who want to be just sleek and all black and very sleek. And then the last one day is the most awesome shirt I found. Unfortunately, the tags have been cut off, but look at this pattern. Whoa. Yeah, whoa is right. That is crazy. You got the long collar and it got some sweet ass buttons too. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, the bummer is somebody cut the collar, the uh, tag off, but yeah, I'll still be able to sell it. Yeah. Uh, that is just amazing. Amazing, amazing print. That's All right, cool. so I'm going to switch my tubs around, so let's see what you got. All right, so I have um, pulled and some stuff. Like, before you do that, uh, yeah. one witch lady says, crap, I left two of those behind because my phone was dead. Two of what behind? I just showed a lot of things. What would you leave behind? Maybe we'll go into it a little bit deeper. Let me know. All right, go ahead, May. All right, so I have this shirt that is um, – so it's – it's a vintage um, Hawaiian shirt made in Hawaii for Andrade Resort Shops. Yep. It's a medium. What do you think, Jay? I think you're way clearer on the YouTube feed than on my feed. Yeah, uh, open that sucker up. Let me see it. That's a badass shirt. It's a medium. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's like a like a forty dollars shirt. Really awesome! I will be getting that listed today. Then. <laughs> that's, All right. So one, um, hold on. Yeah. One of which lady says uh, the 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 Sente snowsuits. Oh yeah. Hey, look! It's October. We're at the edge of ski season. Snowsuits are a big deal. The brighter, the more awesome. Right. The warmer, the more pockets, the better. And the Sente is a great brand. If you get the Sente, search by solds and highest, you will be shocked. And I've got like four or five pair. We're gonna work on a Monday. Okay, so just like the Target lines, there are some lines for H&M that are also sought out. So this is one of them. This is Marnie is a, is a high-end designer brand, and they did a line for H&M. Um, so there's the tag for that. Um, if you can see the, the tag there. Um, so this is a, it's a long, it's a maxi dress. It is more summery, and it's, I should have listed it probably over the summer, but it's, you know, people go on vacation, you know, cruise wear, it's, it's a uh, summer somewhere in the world. So, um, you know, I'll get that listed soon. It's silk. It's, it's a gorgeous dress. So, um, and that's M A R N I. If you find the, the actual Marnies, they do, um, much better, but the, but the H and M lines as well. So just like target, look for the, um, designer H and M lines that have collaborated with H and M. This is a purse that's, um, it's actually, it's a relic by Fossil. Now, my Fossil purses have tanked. I can't sell Fossil purses anymore. I don't know why, but I've got them listed, and they just don't go anywhere. So I'm hoping this one will. I took some good pictures of it. I already took my pictures. i got to get it listed, but um, I don't know. We'll see. And these always surprisingly... Surprisingly, Alcoholics Anonymous materials do well. This book is a 2001 uh, copy, and the cover, the the um, the jacket, the dust jacket is messed up, and the inside, the actual cover has some dents in it. So I won't be able to list it in very good condition, but the inside pages are fine. And um, I should, I think I'll be able to get about twenty-five dollars for this book. So not bad. And do you want me to keep going, Jay? You should get about 10 things, right? You want me to just do everything that I have right now? No, 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 no. Save, save it for the next half. Okay, so you can go. All right, so real quick, since we're still talking about the snowsuits in the tent a little bit, just to show you, uh, here you go. There's the Descente, a vintage 90s, vintage 80s, 150, Whoa, 150, nice. 150, 130. As you can see, see that when you get pizzazz in there, in the 130 range this is and, and i'm going to show you uh i have a full mannequin lights and all that we're going to be doing these on and show you how good it looks this on the floor is actually okay i like how they bent it kind of like your skin this looks very sad hanging on on the uh wall there this wine the black's pretty good this one's good i like the close-up of the torso yeah but that's kind of cool lay, oh that one was awesome. this one laying sideways looks like you deflated a skier I wonder what they got for the best offer. This they one, so they have a backdrop that's not wide enough, so yet you see the you see the coffee table with the vase and the flowers and the bed <laughs> door. Yeah. Yeah, snowsuits are tricky. Here's a great example of a time when a human uh, model it comes in handy. If you don't have a mannequin, a full mannequin, yeah, the best way to show this snowsuit is on somebody. And I kind of like these white and black stairs. That's a little pizzazz. But, yeah, all this sideways looking like deflated. No, I ain't cutting it, man. I was not cutting it. Yeah, definitely. Get your model. Get your model. All right. Oh, I saw, I saw two on carpet there. Yeah, no. no. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, they're they're long and they're tricky. I'm gonna show you a couple things too that I got. They're long and tricky. They're gonna be tricky to uh, to do. All right, let's get into the ladies. Um, you know, we always talk about scrubs. They're not gonna make you a ton of money, but these were a buck fifty each, and so I figured they'll be good to sell. Oh, some, uh, Disney, yeah, Disney uh, does well. And they're big sizes. Uh, Minnie Mouse. Oh, that's good. Here is Minnie and Mickey. And here is uh, Daisy Duck. So for buck fifty each, you know these are solid anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, they're easy to list, easy to ship, easy to sell. Yeah. Oh, I just have one more scrub. I just for some reason I'm fascinated with fox stuff nowadays. So even though it's probably not a winner, I buy a lot of fox stuff. That's actually cool though. I love the print. Yeah, I thought that was a cool print. I figured somebody would like it. And I'm gonna save that. Now, this, the next uh, batch here was all found in the Halloween section. Some lady uh, dropped off all her country and western gear. I bought uh, half of it, and Vicki, who was with me, bought the other half. She had a ton of these vests. Very cowboy 80s vests. Can I see the, the, can I see the, um, the tag? Yeah, well, hang on. Okay. So the tag is BMW Designs. Oh. Texas. So I got that Texas. one. See. And this one. Oh, the boots. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to. Oh, somebody's asking me what size the scrubs are. Uh, other than the Fox, the three Disney ones, I think, are 2X or 3X. They're bigger scrubs. If that's something that you like or is your size, just hit me up. You know, you can buy directly from our show. So yeah, Vicky got, uh, the woman had two of these for some reason, and she had a cow pattern one. So Vicky got the other cowboy boots in the cow pattern. And then she had this awesome matching outfit from Paris Express. Because when you think cowboy, you think Paris. It must be Paris, Texas. But here is the jacket. Ooh, look at the fringe. Wow, that is Western. And it has the matching pants with fringe. Oh my gosh! No now way. Were, um, this whole outfit was four dollars after the discount. Wow. Size medium, and uh, you know I even looked it up, and I, I'm not sure the brand makes much difference in this. It's more of the denim with the fringe, rodeo, cowboy, country western. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That keywords. you don't need the brand is irrelevant there. Yeah. Yeah. See, even uh, uh, Margaret Collier said rodeo time's coming up. All right. Okay. Now, no matter what you thought of the, those things I just showed you, this is the most gaudy, most awful, most awesome piece of her collection that she dropped off. Look at this jacket, May. Amazing. Whoa. Not regular fringe, denim fringe. Holy. <laughs> you know you want it. Oh, yeah, I'd rock it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awful? Oh, my awesome? God, that's horrible, but it's it's awesome. It's, so, it's, it's one of those things that it's so ugly that it's... Cool. Yeah. Wow. All right. And this is me channeling you and uh, Nick Garces and Margaret Collier and all the rest of the ladies who thrift. I never look at the scarf section except one time I looked at the scarf section. And <clears throat> I coined the term cart envy. When you're in a thrift store walking by with a cart full of stuff and someone looks at your cart and goes, aw, that means yeah. they wanted the item in your cart that is cart envy. Uh, as soon as I showed Vicky this, she was like, aw. This is Bob Mackie wearable art. Oh, yeah. Bob Mackie was the designer to share. His stuff doesn't sell too well, mm -hmm. but his scarves do. And no one had this one, May. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. Is that crazy or what? That is a, that is a, yeah, that's a great scarf. I mean, this, that's this fantastic. Is just, that is fantastic. Is beyond, beyond awesome. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to show you something coming up in the last tub that I had cart envy both from Vicky and from the girl ringing me out. You know you got good cart envy when the person working there goes, oh, we had that? Yeah, I've had that happen too. <laughs> oh, where'd you find What section was that in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I saw good Bob Mackie star selling upwards of $50. No, I just want, I just want a button. I hold this button. Uh, upwards of 50 bucks, and no one had this badass red one, so... That I'm really excited about. 
I want to go back real quick. Somebody was asking about the collar on my cool ass like disco shirt. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to show it, but you know, it's definitely not a uh, modern collar. Very pointy, very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say that looks like it's eighties. Yeah, not as long as some, but definitely not modern. I think it's eighties. More so because it gets to a skinnier point. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Margaret and Lorna, they love that scarf. Yeah, I thought I did pretty well. I felt that was a no-brainer. So, fellas, if you've never gone to the scarf scarf section, uh, and I ain't talking to Nick, I'm talking to everybody else, go and just look for the one thing that catches your eye. That caught my eye, and the more I unfurled it, the more I'm like, well, this is a badass $1.50 scarf. Definitely. All right. We're up, and I'll switch out my subs. All right, so... Uh, no matter what uh, your political opinions are at this time of the year, um, anything political with a political connotation is going to sell. So I have these, I have a set of four Trump Plaza um, hotel and casino um, mugs, and each one has a different card um, symbol on it. There's a spade, there's a heart, there's a, there's a, um, there's the diamond and the club. They have, they, they're all different. And um, they have, and they're in good shape. They all have that. So I, um, I, I'm hoping to sell these because now is the time. And um, my doorbell just rang, so um, okay, I'm back gonna to have me. to. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So a um, couple bags I want to share. A couple purses. Uh, La Sportsac, uh, you know, La Sportsac new is not uh, cheap, and they come out with new stuff all the time, new designs. And so um, they used to sell faster and for more money a little while ago, not as much, but still there are, are certain things. This was only $5 and it is a huge duffel bag. And so I felt I had no problem spending five bucks on this huge duffel bag and it's got all these keys on it. So it's such a cool print. I thought, yeah, that's, I love it. Uh, and, and the nice thing was we put everything we bought at that store in this bag. So I bought my own bag to take the crap out of it. Speaking of big bags, I didn't know this brand, but boy, did this catch my eye. Uh, and the brand is Risenthal, I think. I'm going to show it to you here. Right there. So they make kind of fancy, like, big canvas, they call them carry bags or picnic bags. So, yeah, it it's a badass big bag. This was uh, $4. And no one has this bluff pattern in the big bag, but these bags will sell for, like, 50 bucks used. And this one's in really great shape. Uh, it's only dirty from the stuff I stuck in it because I took this bag out with all my goodies in it. All right. My friend Vicky passed this up, and I'm like, I'm glad you passed this up. This is awesome. Uh, and if you look, these sell in the neighborhood of 20 25 bucks. so easy, easy sell, easy sell for my goofy hat. All right. So always keep your eyes out for the goofy hats. I just sold another goofy hat uh, this week. All right. uh, if you don't know Kipling, Kipling's a great brand. They typically come, most of them come with a little monkey uh, keychain attached to them. Uh, this one is a lunch sack. Uh, it is missing the over-the-shoulder tote, but it was a dollar fifty, and I thought it was just awesome coloring. So I figured, you know, you still got the little handle here. So I figured this could be an easy $20 purchase and, you know, it folds up nice and quick and easy. Uh, but Kipling is a great brand. If you don't know Kipling, and uh, my friend Vicky did not know Kipling. So there is the insignia. Keep your eyes out for Kipling. Uh, and I bought one other Kipling, but that's a surprise for those of you going to Ecom Chicago next week. Renee and I are speaking. Uh, I found a Kipling that I'm going to be using in our presentation next week. Again, always keep your eyes out for things that you could use around the house. Anyone who's been to my house has seen my Yankee Candle closet, and I'm able to add three new ones to my closet. I got the Sun and Sand, Pink Sands, and these are all ones I love, uh, Tropical Smells, and then Christmas in the Sand, or in the Beach. So these were all sitting there. They, these were not discounted, but they were cheaper than retail, and they are brand new. So uh, if you see something, see something you normally buy anyway, save yourself a couple dollars. Okay, the other section I have a hard time with is shoes. I went out with our friend Heather last, a couple weeks ago, and she crushed in the shoe section. I went and looked in the shoe section. I wouldn't find anything. Then I would come back, and Vicky would be in the shoe section, pulling out all this good stuff. And I asked her, I said, are all these shoes from this shelf down? And she goes, yeah. 
the problem is I'm not bending over. So if it's not here up, I don't see it. But I did grab one pair that I thought will do pretty well. Uh, they're a little worn in, but not too bad. These Converse All-Stars are pretty bitching. Got the zipper, they're purple, rainbow colors, the grommets, um, the laces are all the same colors as the uh, base there. So I figured for uh, $2.50, I did not go wrong there. So pair of shoes out of four stores. I'm not good at the shoes yet, but I'll get there. I will get there. All right, so uh, found a pair of boots that had like the uh, mismatched leather crisscross stitch, like 1970s. Uh, they were just in beat condition, but then I found another pair of the same boot in a, in a shorter boot. And I'm like, oh, that person must have dropped off both boots. And then I found this purse. And so I figured the purse would be the same as theirs uh, in terms of uh, the brand. And then I looked, I'm like, oh, no, weird. It's American Tourister, and it's new with tags. It's not, it's not an expensive purse. I looked it up. Tags, it was $1.50. So um, I figured uh, if I get 18 bucks for it, I'll be happy. Oh, good. I'm glad, I'm glad people like the shoes because, like I said, I don't do well with shoes. Um, I've been I've been stocking Lisa Frank stuff. I, I don't have any home runs. But I thought I could put them in a nice lot. And one of the things I have is modern pencils, like you know, four to a case, and I got like ten cases. Well, I found this brand new with tag pencil bag. So this was a buck, and these have been selling by themselves for like eighteen to twenty bucks. And I'm gonna throw some pencils with it. So I think I got like a. Ooh, excuse me, $25, $30 item there. What size are the Converse? Well, let me tell you. What size are the Converse? They are, let me unzip them. The Converse, holy cow, that tiny writing. Are U.S. Hang on a minute, magnifying glass. Come here. I just saw Lisa Frank. Yeah, hang on, we're doing. Okay. U.S. 5 on the Converse. They are tiny. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I got this Lisa Frank pencil case. New with tags. Nice. One dollar. One dollar. Awesome. Uh, all right. So, and we showed, uh, I showed a little sports sack satchel earlier. This was uh, two bucks. Uh, I didn't bother looking it up because I like the colors. Very flush, very darkish. Oh, I yeah. I thought that was good yeah. for two bucks. And then this brand, I didn't know, but the purse caught my eye. It looked pretty awesome. And when I looked up this brand, the, um, well, here, let's let's do a little show and tell. So while I'm prepping, I was hoping you were coming back. I was hoping somebody didn't kidnap you. Uh, no, I'm sorry about that. I, I had a... All right, so I'm going to do a screen share here. As well. All right, so the brand is Anushka. Ever heard of it? No, I have not. It looks um, Indian, possibly. So it's leather and it's like custom painted or something. Whoa. Okay. So this one didn't have any specific design. But let me show you the soles on this because wow. awesome. I, I've never seen this brand before. This no, purse. I haven't either. But, okay but, then. Yeah, these are all these all look to be new. Let me find uh yeah. let me find some pre-owned ones here. So look, here's some pre-owned ones, 220, nice. 331, 202. Oh my gosh. So if you do not have this brand on your radar, get it on your radar. Now, can you, I can't even fathom what they are, Nune. <laughs> someone dropped this off at the thrift store and I bought it for like two Oh my gosh. See, so, you know, I would have grabbed that on Instinct just because it's all hand painted and it's, you know, just, it looks like something that would be. Yeah. So, but but that's just a, a good tip for, for everyone. But guys, if you're not buying purses too, I would just glance you through the purse section and, oh, they didn't have this hanging behind the counter. No, wait, it was six bucks. My bad, six bucks. They had $12 on it. Uh, and I said, let me see that. And I didn't know the brand, but I, my eye, you know, it, this caught my eye. It was $6 it, behind the counter? Yeah. Wow. Oh, but no. Yeah. And so quick research of like, oh, yeah, that's a winner. Now, I, with that quick research, I realized if it had butterflies or peacocks like some of the other ones, something where you can really sink your teeth into a keyword, they'll sell for a lot more. But this said, this is the minimum $50. Wow, that's awesome. Easy peasy. <laughs> Lorna says, never heard of it going on my list. And Funky Fly Monkey said, I'd have to keep that first. Well, Funky Fly Monkey, it is for sale if you'd like it. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I am weary of uh, Vera Bradley. That is definitely, definitely saturated. But uh, this was this was twelve bucks, and it was a big one. It's a retired yeah, print, two thousand two thousand two. It's got the metal uh, grommets there, the metal hooks. Now it's going to be about a forty or fifty dollar bag. It's a nice print. And then the bummer is this is a nineteen. Uh, shit, I forget what year it is, but but it's it is vintage. It's not modern. It's in great shape, but it's missing the thermos. Oh. And I paid seven bucks, and I can still get about thirty without the thermos. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep a, put a save search with emails on eBay for the thermos. And as soon as I find one cheap, I'm getting it, and I'm going to make this fifty. Good tip, and yeah, and someone you know, somebody will underprice one of those thermoses, and you'll be able to grab it. And then here's my one dud from today. I thought this would be awesome. It turned out to be a dud. I didn't look it up. Really? That's a dud? That's a dud. Really? Hello, Mabel? Give me Barney. Yeah. This brand, this color, there's like a billion of them. Really? Yeah, so I spent five bucks. It's worth about five bucks. Now, what? this, this exact phone, blue flag version, that's the jam you want. That one sells for 50 on up. This plain red, not so much. And it's a little deep, too. So. I would have never got that. I would have grabbed that, too, and thought it would be a score. Wow. Uh, I am missing. Oh, no, I'm not. There it is. Then, then back to you, and then I'll finish off. All right. Uh, and I don't know the reason. I don't know the history. But in the, the world of Tiki, the Shriner Fez works into the tiki aesthetics. People wear them to the tiki bars. They decorate with them. And when you and when you find one, the more jewels, the better. Well, this was hanging. This was hanging in the costume section for a dollar fifty. And as you can see, there's a lot of the jewels in there. Wow, that's considered tiki. Yep, somehow Fez has worked into the Tiki aesthetic. So I have three that I wear myself that are uh, by a company called Fezorama that makes modern Fezes for non-training wow. people. And wow, that's a... it. Inside, uh, it's got his name. Nice. Yeah, for a buck fifty, and again, hang it in the Halloween section. So what, will you, what do you think you'll get for it? Yeah, well, I'm not selling it because it'll go into my Tiki bar. But if I were to sell it, It'd probably be in the thirty to forty dollar range. This one. Okay. Again, if you look at Shriner Fezes, you'll be shocked because there's something that I'm guessing majority of you, if not all, um, would just walk past and never even think of. So here, just to give you a quick example, look at the, look at the top one sold on eBay right now, three hundred dollars. One fifty. One fifty. It's a lot of three for a hundred. How are they tiki though? I just I don't understand. Like I said, I don't know how it works into the tiki aesthetic, but uh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Sadie's like, you put some stickers on that phone or paint to make it more desirable. Yeah, maybe I can turn that phone into an art project and make it a little more exciting. Okay, I've got uh, six things left. My six coolest things, so to speak. So let me yeah. let you, I'll let you finish, and then I'll finish up. All right, so. I have, and I actually did just list this. Um, I really, um, it's it's quite ugly. This is a yeah, that, 80s that. vintage color block sweater. It's got the, um, it's got that um, anchor beaded design on it, and on the sleeves you can see it's got these funky, it's got these funky buttons. I'm trying to this way. There you go. See the buttons and it zips in the back it's um it's got this metallic thread and then the inside it's actually a Saks Fifth Avenue it's uh do uh, Don I'm sorry Don Sayers for Wellmore by Saks Fifth Avenue yeah that's pretty hideous I love and it. the inside you can and the other indicator it is it's I think it's early 80s um by this tag it's it's uh, got this tag inside, so. Cool. Yeah, so I, I'm hoping to do well. I mean, I, I put it up for a high price with the best offer, 
And I mean, it's in excellent shape. So, you know, we all know that ugly, hideous things sell. So um, I'm gonna hope that that goes. Now, I, I talk about the Target lines. Here's an example of a Missoni for Target. There's the, the label. Uh, the Masoni for Target labels are orange, and you can see one of the dead giveaways before you even see it is look for the, the chevron prints. Not all of the Masonis are chevron, but a lot of them are, and that's that zigzag print. This is a cardigan. It was, it did come with a twin. It was a twin set, so it did come with a under tank top, which I can probably still get like thirty for it, but me, but the if I, if it came with the um, tank top underneath, it would have been worth more. But it's a, it'll still sell. It's in good condition. It's got that. It's got gold metallic thread in it. And I have a risque item. Oh. Oh yeah, this I is a, a risque Friday morning item. Uh, this is if you can see the tag there. It's Glidens for of um, Hollywood. It, this is 1950s. Um. And it's 100% nylon. It's a size small. It's um, it's um, vintage. Um, it's a vintage like slip slash nighty kind of lingerie thing. But the crazy thing is, this is the front, and it's got um holes um right in the uh, chest area. So holes in the chest area in the chest area i'm trying to be so sexy yeah i'm trying to sound um you know you you want to say it in a i'm sure you could put it in a different way there holes so. holes in the chest area <laughs> well you know it's like it's a peekaboo thing uh, not, not much peekaboo about it here's here's the ladies front and center what's now, that I, oddly enough right the second oops sorry Right the second, no. my assistant's working on these shoes. Look, Nate, they would go perfect with your thing. Oh, my gosh, they would, wouldn't they? Look at that. That would you be such a perfect that. match right now. Oh, my gosh, that would. The, and the lace is... um Too funny. You can, you can see it's all it's all lace, and it's very sexy. Uh, it's 1950s, and, um, yeah, it doesn't leave much to be uh, for the imagination there. No. <laughs> okay, Amanda said Amanda it well. Pettit, Amanda Pettit said booby hole. Yeah, I guess yeah. So I also, and I have this, these do well for like um, props and uh, when you're staging, like realtors, stage houses, that kind of thing. So I've got, I'm going to do this all as a lot. I've got fake asparagus. I've got fake cucumber, um, a fake eggplant, and a fake glass beaded uh, corn. It's actually got the tag on it. Yeah. So it's actually glass beaded. It's got the tag on it. Nice. And, and uh, I'm putting them, I already took my pictures. I'm putting them all in one big lot. And I'm just going to sell the lot for like maybe 25 bucks. And just, uh, what you want to do with you have your uh, fake fruit or, or vegetables, as you call it, fake realistic, um, <laughs> which is a little ironic, um, vegetables and fruit. Yeah, and then you put like stage prop, you know, so. Um, those are the keywords that you want. So that's all I have. I really don't have much that. Um, right. so, hey, before before I finish, I got a question for the audience who are watching right now. Is there anyone young enough that has never dialed one of these? Is there anyone watching who didn't ever who never used a dial telephone? <laughs> As my assistant just said, lucky you. Yeah, because when you had a phone number that had a nine in it and you screwed up. Oh, you gotta hang up and start all over. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, so Texas Gal Treasure said, "I missed ET stuff. Do you need stickers? I have some." Yeah, Mr. Sadie was saying, "Put some ET stickers on this." ET phone home. Or you get an artist to hand paint it. Hello, come get me. <laughs> yeah, you never know. This could be like a duck. Yeah, I don't know. Fun. All right, let me show you the last few things. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is, this is a big bolo, so uh, make sure you really pay attention to this. I buy a lot of sports coats. So I definitely look for pimp stuff and older, like Jack Nicholas, Johnny Carson jackets that hipsters would wear. But all the cool uh, skating and surfboard brands are making sport coats for the younger guys. I listed this and sold it in less than 24 hours the other day. And it was a Billabong sports coat. And, mm -hmm. and they're, they're 
very non-traditional. Pockets are on an angle. There are stripes on it. Um, as you can see, there's a whole different pattern down the middle. So, and they got a little bit. They had some metal around the pockets. So very cool stuff. And along that same veins on half off day for six bucks, almost almost kind of identical. I got this Volcom sports coat. Oh, and that's cool. Pockets around angles, all very cool and edgy. Yeah, I love the lining. Uh, a lot of buttons. So this was uh, this was six bucks, and I fully expect to get fifty dollars out of it. So look for mm -hmm. look for those brands that make skateboards, snowboards. Yeah. Uh, Peace out. That's awesome. We've talked about Tommy Bahamas recently, and the repeating floral patterns, kind of like this would be. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just hey, want to piggy. I just want to piggyback on your sports coat, your Billabong sports coat, because yeah, right. this this is a jacket that I I think I've shown it before, but I just finally got it listed. Um, and this, it's new with tags. It's a woman's, but it's Billabong. Nice. Yep. Yeah. So, and it's, you know, it's, it's really funky. Like it's, uh, I don't remember what I listed it at, but I, I'm hoping to get about $50 for it too. See, it's still got the new, the Billabong tag on it. And so, yeah, look for that brand because they do make some funky stuff. All right. So we talked about time Bahamas. Uh, we, I told you to look for the ones that have the embroidery on the back. This one is in between those two. So it's not repeating floral. It's not embroidery. But it's got the one panel down the side, and it's got a uh, cocktail glass and martinis in it. Oh. So, you know, very much a uh, Tommy Bahama bowling shirt. And it was only four bucks, I think. So uh, I had no fear of mind that. It's a great size, too. It's uh, extra double X, extra large, 100% sell. That'll be an easy sell. Uh, I got to bring them. Uh, so the last four things I got to show you, three of them I had to take pictures of because they're so big or long that just showing them here wouldn't do me any good. Um, uh, I'll be a son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, they're there. The first uh, item is this dress right here. Look at this. Oh, wow. So let me, let me show you in his full glory because you're not going to be able to see him. He's just hand, holding it here. And it comes with the big bow that you clip into your hair with, like, the like the veil almost, I guess. Oh, my. Is that supposed to be, like, a wedding thing? Or? Yeah, see, that's, that's what we were discussing. So there's the back. The back's got a big bow on it, too. Wow. And then just a close-up of the two bows. Uh, and there is a brand, but I don't think the brand's anything because it is vintage. It's Sylvia Ann. Okay. So here's the brand. Yeah, and, but it was in the Halloween section. It was uh, four dollars. Here, wow. put in your hair. That's lovely, Jay. That looks great on you. What did you put in your beard? See? Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, crafty caregiver said, "Hey, that was my 1970s bridesmaid dress." Oh, somebody says maybe a confirmation dress. Yeah, but I figured for four bucks, I had to rescue it from the thrift store. What do you think? I would, I would have shared, yeah. All right. The next long item that I can't uh, fully share here is – here. let's see what the brand – the brand is Lavoie's. It is a polyester Hello Elvis jumpsuit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But let me show you the pictures because just doing that ain't going to do, do nothing for you. So if you want an Elvis jumpsuit, all you got to do is bejewel so here is my uh, lovely assistant Sophia model for wow. us outside. It's got the pockets. Obviously, this is a little bit taller than she is. There's the back. But man, if you had some, you, if you had some skills with it, with a, with the uh, jeweler, this could so be an Elvis jumpsuit. Is that badass or what? Yeah, that is. I would say. And that was uh, also in the costume section, and that was four dollars. Okay, not bad. Uh, this one's not a dud, but it's not as winter as I thought, only because a lot of people have it. It caught my eye uh, by the by the look, and then I looked at the tag. It's Disney Store like holiday time because there's a little snowflake. It's nothing specific to a character, but it's this gorgeous 
uh, plaid print. It's got like two two linings. One, two. Whoa. Yeah. A lot of people have it. I'm guessing closer to Christmas it'll sell. It's a skirt? 30. Yeah, it's a, it's a long skirt. Uh, okay. I thought it was pajama pants at first. Okay. Uh, and I, I probably get maybe 30 bucks for it. I thought it'd be better, but a lot of people have it. But also mm -hmm. it's October. I think in November people are like, I need, I, need that, I need that long skirt for my party. Where should I find it? Oh, eBay. Mm -hmm. All right. And before we move on, I actually want to introduce you to somebody. So how does your time to be out? I would like to introduce everyone to my newest assistant, Sophia, who was also my lovely model today. And let's, uh, let's put her on. There she is. Hi, Sophia. How's it going? Oh, hey, let's put the mic by you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? And to get it out of your face too. So <laughs> you know how many times I get my head on this thing. I know. So this is Sophia. She's my new assistant, and she's uh, rocking and rolling, doing a kick-ass job. She's keeping uh, keeping Tiki Pug Music afloat when I'm busy doing other <laughs> shenanigans. That's great. Well, thank, yeah. thank you, Sophia. Thank you for being my model today. <laughs> she said, "Any Elvis suit, anytime." Any Elvis suit, anytime. <laughs> All right, so the last two items I'm going to share with you guys today. Now, if you watched the haul last week, you saw my King Kong leather jacket. I still got to go get the zipper fixed. I'm going to drop it off today or tomorrow. Um, but I found another leather jacket that uh, was about the same price that I think will do almost as well. I mean, I think King Kong will be a couple hundred dollars, like three, four. This one will be at least 200 It is the Big Mac Daddy leather motorcycle jacket oh my goodness it is size 60. too big for me so here's some pictures of me wearing it yeah, i was gonna say it looks huge like when you were holding it up it looked bigger than you yeah so if you look at the sleeves my you could put at least two of my hands through each sleeve wow so here's the jacket and this was 25 bucks and the brand. <laughs> trying to look, are you trying to look badass there? Yeah, I'm looking badass in my shorts out by the pool. <laughs> Didn't work. And the, the brand's a pretty good brand. Now, I'm not a biker, although I look like one. I didn't know the brand. But if you could feel this thing, it weighs so much. It's really? such heavy duty leather. Great for riding. The brand is Himalaya Motor Bikeware. And oh. I looked it up, and um, this is probably a $200 jacket. Awesome. Yeah, that'll go. And, you know, and it's got like all the prerequisites for a cool kick-ass bike leather coat. If you look at it, you know, it's, it's got the belts in the front, all the zippers, the snap. Oh, yeah. Some biker dude will grab that up. Yeah, especially with the size. Yep. Yeah, so the person has to be a lot bigger than me and a lot shorter. Yeah, because it is, a, it, it's, that's a, that's a, um, a cropped jacket on you. Yep. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready for my last find? This is the one that caused cart envy from Vicky, my French partner, and from the girl ringing me out. They were both like, annoying me. They are both like, oh my God, because I asked Vicky, I go, did you go to the Trotsky section already? And she said, yeah. Then I showed her and she goes, oh, that was not there when I was there. I go, well, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, James is asking what size that, that jacket is a 60, James, six zero. So if you are a 60 and you're looking for a badass jacket, talk to me. We'll, we'll cut a deal. All right, you ready, Nay? I'm ready. Ready for my new fun toy? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Hello, Nadine. How are you? <laughs> that we're, is us. We're missing a couple. They're kind of yellow. Yeah, they're a little yellow. Somebody needs to uh, get some crest white strips there. Hello for $3. I thought I'd buy this. So Hello. what is it exactly? Is it a... Um, is I'm it, guessing something from a dentist office. That's what I'm thinking, like an, a dentist instructions kind of, a, a dental instruction kind of uh, mold or something. But no. wow, those are some yellow teeth. Yeah. Stacy said, are you selling it? I said, eventually, but I might stick it to my dash. <laughs> just because it's awesome. It like, how often do you find this? Just laying around a Yeah, store. that's a pretty cool thing, yeah. This one you thought you've thrifted it all and seen it all at thrift store, a full set of teeth minus two shows up. Yes, that's that's a unique uh, yeah. find there. Yeah. So I would say so. this is the most one of the most unique things I've bought in a long, long time. So not for sale as of yet. I'll, I'll eventually get tired of my toy, but for now, it'll be my toy. 
So speaking of, uh, uh, is that is that everything for? Yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll work this into our show somehow. Oh, we could do that. Yeah. So next week we will be at um, Ecom Chicago giving a live presentation. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to broadcast live. We're not a hundred percent sure yet, but we're hoping. Yeah, um, we'll yeah, know so. by Thursday night. So I will let everyone know by Thursday if we, if we can pull yeah. it off on Saturday. Yeah, the presentation will be Saturday, the, the 21st. And um, also, um, well, you're going to talk about something in a minute, but um, I will segue by saying that um, my sales have not been stellar lately. I, I've been listing, but um, I think what I need to do, like Jay has suggested is put my store on is run a sale in my store and I'm going to be doing that today so um, and Jay is going to be talking about that on my show with my mom uh, my mouse come back here mouse uh, my mom uh, the show I do with my mom being uh, uh, oh you uh, just I, I went to a wedding last night I went to a wedding last night that is my only excuse I don't know. <laughs> uh, being, uh, geez, oh man. Selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50. The show I do with my mom and me, uh, you know, it's, it's geared towards the senior seller and, and going a little bit slower, but I guarantee you, I don't care what age you are, if you watch any of our episodes, you will learn stuff. And this week, we're going to cover uh, putting your store on sale and not just, just throwing it all on sale. You can do it by category, by keyword. You can just pick and choose. So we'll go over how to do it because you need to run sales. I run sales all the time. Uh, so I find sales generate sales. I price my stuff higher than normal so I can do best offer options. So when I throw stuff on sale, even if I throw it on a 30% off sale, it looks great to the customer. But at 30% off, I'm still making good, good money. And so when I do that all the time, I sell a lot of stuff. So Nay needs to do a sale. So I said, Nay, you need to tune in this week. And so that'll be on Sunday, 4 p.m. on the East Coast, 1 p.m. on the West Coast. If your team happens to be playing football at that point, just watch us later. If you can watch us live, awesome. And uh, I think that's it then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just uh, hopefully yeah, you guys will see. So uh, no shows next week at all uh, until Except. Saturday. We'll be traveling to Chicago on various days next week. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, Thursday night, I will let uh, everybody know between the Thrifty Business with Jay and a fan page. The Thrifting Board Facebook group. Oh, speaking of, if you've not joined our Facebook group, come join us, the Thrifting Board. We'd love to have you. We discuss all these things you saw today and so much more. Uh, please subscribe down here and please hit the like button down here. That's one that we forget to say too often. Dave. We gotta, you gotta say that more. I never, hear, I never hear you say. It. You gotta say it too. Yes, yes, yes. You, you are correct. I yeah. do. Uh... So when you subscribe, you know when we're gonna be on the air. And when you hit like, it helps us mm -hmm. out. So please do that. Yeah. So yes. next time I'll see you guys this Sunday with my mom. I'll be talking about putting your store on sale. We'll, sh we'll see what my mom found at the thrift stores this weekend. And see what my mom sold. She sells a lot of cool stuff. So She does. Oh, see, yes. Uh, Katie in our chat said, I started a sale yesterday and I've had 10 sales. Okay. Yes, I'm going to be starting a sale because I need to, to shake some of my items loose. I I'm just, uh, and James said, how can you sell more than 250 items at a time? James, you can put your whole store on sale. So, uh, I, that, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Uh, I'm gonna I know last week, and I have about 850 now. So uh, yeah. if you don't know how, James, tune in on Sunday, and I'll be, we'll be going over step by step. We'll show you kind of like four different sales you can have. Yeah, yeah, I have about 850 yeah. items in my store right now. I think I'm just going to do a sale for everything right now. See what – maybe that will shake some things loose. Yep. All right, cool. Well, thank you, everyone, who turned in live for a Monday uh, Monday morning. Good Lord. I didn't drink that much last night. This is bizarre. <laughs> for a Friday morning thrift hall. Oh, boy. Uh, and I have a concert tonight and a concert tomorrow night. So oh, I'll boy. Be, oh, man, I'll be heard for the show on Sunday. Whoops. <laughs> Mom will have to take charge. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. So thanks for tuning in live. If you watch yeah. after the fact, thank you, too. And I'll see you guys around the thrifting board. Uh, come make sure you check out my post about I'm going to teach a free class in about a month. Mm -hmm. And I gave three topics, three options. So if you've not voted yet, go vote. And then we'll be doing a free class uh, at the beginning of November. So tune in for that. All right. For 30 Business with Jay and A, I am Jay. And I am Nay. And we're gone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.